Hi, I'm Graham Walsh from Polycom, and today I'm going to show you where you have a point to point call between your link client, two link users, and you may want to bring in a third person, and that could be from a, a conference room. And then we'll look at how we do multi party conferencing and place that on the ABMCU or put it on the Polycom Real Presence platform. So let me put a call in. So I'm just going to call in, point to point, from my link client over here. Over to my client here. So two link clients and a call point to point. Very easy. And maybe you're talking and you want to bring in a third party. And they may be in a conference room. So very easy. You can look at your buddy list and then just drag that participant in. So what this is doing now is changing this from a point to point call into a call on the Microsoft AVMCU and we have the limitations of VGA mode and active speaker through here so that room will now connect in as you can see the status has changed on the Polycom room system as well and there we have it there's a the conference room I have a client over here and it's all based on um, different connectors hi Dale there's <laughs> a colleague in the room there um, and then you can easily tear people down by removing them and carrying on with your conversation. And also, if you notice, we're using federated contacts. So it doesn't have to just be people inside your organisation, it can be people outside the organisation too. So, there we go. Simple, drag and drop, conference calling. The other option on the Microsoft AVMCU is to control click, so you can actually have multiple people. So you can see someone here is available, and you can pick uh, another endpoint, uh, another endpoint, you right click and start video conference. So this is what we call the click to conference. So it's selecting several participants, and then it's going to dial in other participants. Let's get ourselves on mute. So there you have it, very easy for users, and again people can't be connected to them AV offline or something but there we have um, North America over in New York connected in and we have uh, my room system on my desk as well so again this is active speaker mode only so the other way we can actually have conference calls uh, between users let me just remove these conferences and turn the call down is that if you're on a point-to-point -point call so we'll start a point-to-point -point call again over here and I'll come in here Go on mute. So point to point call, and then you want to bring a third party in, but they may be on a maybe an iPad or iPhone or tablet device, maybe a, a Cisco system, and you now need the Polycom platform to have that multi-party call. So we simply just forward this call, transfer it to another person, and choose your virtual meter room that's in your buddy list. So now we're transferring my colleague over here into the virtual meter room. And then we can IM the other colleague and say, yep, yeah, join my virtual meter room. And I just do the same thing here. Join my virtual meter room over this you side. The first person to join the conference. So now they're waiting for me to join. So very simple. Conference calling. There we go. We're now all in the Polycom platform. Very simple for users to click and call and be on uh, an MCU. Now if you want to just have one MCU in your organisation, say the Polycom uh, RMX Conference Bridge, when you right, uh, right click several people and then start a conference, we can actually run a script on the link server, on the front end server, that enables this conference calling to go to the Polycom MCU. So users just have one way of doing things in their network, so they've got a simplified user client, user experience, very easy and less training so you haven't got multiple ways of doing things depending on your environment and your users some people choose to have both the AVMCU in place and the Polycom conference bridge for multi-party multi-way high definition calling any questions give us a shout thanks